Hi there, welcome my dear students. This is Professor Abraham with you. So, in this lecture, I'm going to teach you how to download and install Git on your laptop or on your computer. For that thing, what you have to do, you have to go on URL and you have to type Git and hit enter. So in here, can you see we have a website like git-scm.com. What you have to do, you have to right click on it. And here, can you see it's saying open link in new tab. Click on it and this will open up a tab, uh, open up the window in a new tab. Here, what, ha what you have to do, uh, if you have a Windows, you can click on Windows. If you have a Mac, you can click on Mac and you can download it for the Mac. Let's open up this uh, new page in a new tab. Here, can you see, this is how, th here you have an installation guide, how you can install this on Mac. So, uh, let's go for the Windows first. So, here, what you can do, you have to click on Downloads, Download for Windows, click on it, and this is going to start our downloading. This will take few seconds, and it's saying, Okay, so there is no automatic downloading for this software. So what we have to do here, can you see other Git for Windows download? So we have like 64-bit and 32-bit. The, here you have portable version. I don't know what is the portable version. I never use that. So let's go for the 64-bit. Uh, nowadays, everyone have the 64-bit version. So you have to click here. And your download has been started. This will take like few seconds. Let's wait it to complete first. So one, uh, what we will do once the uh, once we are done with the installation, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to sync our kit with the uh, with VS Code. I will show you at the end of video how we are going to do that. This is almost complete and uh, so what you can do, uh, you can go into your downloads. Here you will see a git uh, exe file here. You have to double click on it and this is going to open up our file. This is going to give you a pop up like this one and what you have to do, you have to click on next, choose the byte for location, click on next. And after that, it's saying additional icon on the desktop. I don't want any kind of icon on my desktop. I want my desktop to be clean. So here it's saying check the daily for Git and uh, Git for Windows update. I will say, okay. Uh, it's saying add Git bash profile to Windows terminal. I will say, okay, yeah, go ahead, do that. I will click on next. And again, it's saying to continue, click on next. If you, if would you like to select different folder, I will say no. So here, can you see it's saying don't create start menu folder. I want a start menu folder. I want their uh, settings, uh, setting shortcuts of the kit there. Uh, what I will do, I will click on next. And after that, it's saying use Vim and get a default editor. I will check that and I will go with the default settings. Next, and here it's saying let git decide. So here, can you see it's saying let uh, it's saying like get uh, let git use its default branch name currently master okay but now you know uh, if you are familiar with git uh, the default branch of the github is main nowadays it's not master it has been updated from master to main so what we are going to do we are going to click on override and we are going to select the main branch from here and after that what we have to do we have to click on next and uh, we will go with the recommended one. Go on. And uh, yeah, go on. And you can, it's saying use external open SSH. The use is SSH.exe. Yeah, we will use, it comes with the gate one. And click on next. Again, click on next. And uh, yeah, go on. And uh, again, hit next. Go with the default one and uh, again next enable symbolic link as well and uh, click on next enable experimental store for pseudo open source let's enable that enable this one as well git add 
enable experiment to build file systems. Yeah, okay, install. This is going to install for your system. Let's wait for a few seconds and uh, this is, uh, th this will be done. So what we will do, we are going to uncheck this box and we will say launch git bash, okay? And we will hit enter finish. Once you are done, uh, you will see a page like this one, a prompt box like this one. What you can do, you can run commands here. You can list any directories. You can change your directory as well. So what I will do, I will open up my VS code. Uh, let me open up my VS code. Just hold on, just give me one second. Here, I have opened up a new window for you guys. And what I will do, uh, let me, let me maximize this. Yeah, it's on my original Zoom. What I will do, <coughs> right now my, uh, if I go into terminal, if I click on new terminal, can you see it, this is the uh, default CMD one. So, but if, if I want git bash, uh, for that purpose, you can click on arrow one and here, can you see the git bash? If you click on here, so my default prompt is like, it's not command prompt is not CMD. It's now, it's like, it's now bash. It's git bash, uh, where you can run your scripts, any kind of script, scripts you can like run npm install. Uh, you can run any kind of command, like if you want to install the Laravel, if you want to install Node Package Manager, uh, Node Packages, and any kind of installation, any kind of commands, like you want to run here, uh, you can run this in the bash. Bash is, uh, I like bash, it's better than CMD. So you can run Linux command as well, but in CMD, uh, sometimes you are not able to run the commands. Maybe there is a way to run the commands there, but I don't know about that. So, but in bash, you can run the Linux command as well. So what happened, for example, let's say uh, you want in your terminal, you want to click on plus and every time you want to see only bash, not CMD. For that purpose, what you have to do, delete this one and what you have to do, you have to press control, shift and P. You will see a, uh, you will see a pop up like this one again. It's control, hold down control one, then at the same time press shift and then control shift P and you will see a terminal like this one. What you have to do, you have to type terminal. Here you will see, can you see it's saying terminal select default profile. I will hit enter and can you see I have com command prompt, I have git bash, I have PowerShell. So I want git bash to be my default terminal. So for that thing, uh, for the for the purpose, like uh, if I want to set Git Bash as my default terminal, I will hit Enter and so on. That's it. I'm done. What I will do again, I will click on Terminal, and here it's saying New Terminal. Here is a shortcut key as well. Control Shift and the uh, uh, on the tilde sign. If you are using with Shift, then you can put this uh, uh, what we call this template string, uh, a kind of template string. Uh, you can hit uh, click on it and can you see my default shell is my default terminal is bash so if i click on uh, plus icon again it's coming with bash so that's it about the about the kit if you are not familiar with the uh, if you are not familiar with uh, vl studio uh, what you can do you can watch my video how to install and set up the vs code and uh, after that you can uh, set up your git bash uh, with your uh, vs code Thank you. So thank you for watching. If you like my video, uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, hit the bell icon and uh, get the updated notification about, about my videos. In future, I'm going to upload programming languages as well, programming languages videos. For you guys, I'm going to upload some projects as well. So stay tuned. Goodbye. Thank you.